up on what was it now again like my last video i apologize for the lack of uploads but uh wi-fi issues and the fact i got four little kittens running around the show does not help at all <laughs> i can't say it with a straight face honestly can't because who can be grumpy at kittens i mean come on they're adorable right back on task here <clears throat> This today's video, and it's a eh, day, is oddly about one of the most interesting type of locomotives I've seen in a while. And yet again, like the Adams and the Terrier, it's a Bluebell locomotive. Specifically, the Earl class 9017 or 3217. Now these were originally known as Duke Dogs, but for some reason they got called Earls. A lot like castles if you ask me, but who am I to talk? The Great Western was always a mad bunch. Now, I'm going to extensively review this as best I can. I admit I'm going to be rusty, but yeah. See how it goes. And yeah, should be good. And naturally I'll be running it on the club layout with a typical Great Western train, let's see. Because it's been a while since I did one of those. So, let's get stuck in. Okay, here we have the locomotive, all perched up on the top. And as usual, I've got a mess lying around. Bugger it. Um, <laughs> okay. First off, let's just have a look at the side. As we can see, it's 31 086. GWR 3200 class 9017 BR early emblem. Now we'll just flip this info a bit around back and I'm not the camera, bugger me. But this shows the history of the class in brief. And yeah, feel free to have a read of it. Pause the video if you like. Now, I've never had a Bachman 440 before, or a 440 in general. 040s, yes. 462s, definitely. 460s from Bachman, yep. But never a 440. So this, to me, is a first. So, as we can see, it's already got quite a hefty detail pack. A uh, usual bit of paperwork. This was the manufactured date, as usual, with one of these. As we can see, 13 11 07. It's a 2013 model. Now, I got taught this by that uh, system by a very, very well, uh, well respected model collector who I consider a good mate. So, I like that warranty, service request, product maintenance and care, get a collector's club bit, and the product warranty. All in one page leaflet that I like that I really like instead of the usual three four pages of paperwork now here we go with the usual exploded diagram and this actually looks quite cool I like that I like it I do like it Wow I mean the brains as always for something this size and the tender looks like a can motor oh well beggars cannot be choosers Tender wheels, yada yada yada, drawbar. That's quite an odd looking drawbar if you look at that. No, well, that's something to look at when I get the logo out of the box. Uh, here we go. Body removal, curves, DCC, placement parts, lubrication, all that jazz. Remove it. Adjustable length drawbar, secure screw. Okay, that's different. Hmm. And DCC. So that's all the basics. And an adjustable drawbar. Okay. I think this might be very similar to when I did the 04. Can't remember, rightfully remember, but then again, this one, like the 04, is a preserved example. Now, here we have the detail pack. Holy crud. Look at all that. Got fireman's tools, a screw, 
screws are guessing for this round thing, which might be speaker housing or something. I, I don't know. Uh, a weird cylinder thing. I have no idea what the heck that is. More farmers tools. Uh, oh, we got free link couplers and are those frame extensions? I'm not. I'm not too sure. But brake rigging. I do feel familiar with that. But I think we got like extensions for the frames. I don't know. That is. That is different. That is very, very different. Uh, but yeah, as for those weed bits, I, I just gotta have a quick look. Location to add on buffer detail, cosmetic screw, heat pipe, vac pipe. Oh, there are those, oh, there are those odd pieces. So they do go onto the, oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Now we have that covered. Let's get the locomotive out of the box. It's got quite a bit of weight for it for a sm small size loco, I have to admit. And what I kind of really like is the before this, the last four, two double frame four Ferraris, I think, were Churchill's, no, Church Ward's cities, which were built like 1910. These were built in the 1930s, and it's basically one of the best examples of recycling I know of, which is basically taking the boilers from one lo actually from one loco class, the Dukes, I think it was. I actually have to look at the back of the box again. <laughs> ah, here we go. Yeah, Duke boilers, bulldog frames, and they became nicknamed Duke dogs because of the combination. And oh my giddy aunt. I think that's what that, I don't know, the drawbar's not linked. Now it is, and I can see what it meant by adjustable. And, ooh, tender pickups. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It's actually got a fair bit of weight, this. I love that. And the full plate, I mean, you can actually have it hooked up like that so it's proper, you know, prototypical, and it looks good. The coal, I think, from what I saw in the Explorer Dagger, and that's uh, removable, the cab, Oh my gosh, look at that. That's beautiful. And a funny thing, a bit of history about this specific locomotive. Is it was the first Western engine ever sent to the Bluebell. Oh, bugger. Okay. No sprung buffers, but then again. Something this fine detail. Who would? And yeah, a bit of history about this specific locomotive. I'll rest it on a bit of foam on its side. There we go. Is that if the bluebell was not around when this got saved, it would not be saved. It just simply would not. It would have been scrapped. Like the rest of the class. It would have been scrapped. So this and the city of Churro, I believe it is, are the only surviving examples of double frame standard gauge Western locomotives. Any other double frame examples, they are broad gauge and they're all replicas. The one in the NRM, replica. The one at Dickot, replica. Actually, the one at Dickot's got a boiler from an austerity of all things. I mean, fair dues, one way to improve the class, I guess. <laughs> and it falls under all health and safety criteria, so can't argue with that. And I'm going off topic again, my apologies. Right, let's get this on the layout, have a good look at it. See how well it can crawl and such. Okay, we're back and I'm resting the camera at tripod on my leg, so sorry for the shoddy work. Now, let's have a look at how well this goes in reverse first, because most logos, especially the ones I buy, which are broadly secondhand, I admit, they're mainly ran in to go forwards. But seeing as this used to do branch work, I suspect tender reverse working would be okay as well. So, let's have a look. Whoops. I was a bit uh, hasty with the control there, so. That is such a beautiful crawl. And the only pickups on the loco are from the drivers, but you got tender pickups as well. Mainly from the two wide wheels, but I mean... That is beautiful. 
switch direction. And it crawls even both ways. I love that. It is quite a lovely looking like a move. And the reason they're called uh, 32s in one way, how they had their names changed actually from 3200s to, well, from having 3217 originally to 9017 is simply because of these. The Collet Goods 2251 class. Because a lot of these, as we can see, had 32 as their running number. And I know that one's pretty worn, so, oh boy. That one's pretty worn, but you get the idea. Basically, the Great Western gave a 32 number range to these locomotives. Which meant the Duke Dogs, they got renumbered in the 90 hundred range. Which is a bit odd, but... Everyone calls them Duke Dogs, I believe, so it's okay. How they got called Earls, I did not uh, I did not read into that particular detail, I'm afraid to say. But they are slender, and the Duke Dog name, I believe, suits better. Okay, next we'll see this loco is behind what I think would be a quite nice uh, GWR branch line service. So, but... Instead of collet coaches, I think a couple of hawks should do nicely. So let's see it. Everyone's a comedian. Whoops, camera issue, sorry about that. Yeah, you're not in shot, mate. Because it's a bit quicker than the Earl, and this is the end shot. Ever slipped there on the hill? 
Yeah. I'm trying to